Um, I was a Trinitarian from grade one, and uh, I can remember in grade three I went to Australia because of my parents uh, who had to uh, go to Australia. So from grade three to five I was in Australia, and I came back to college in grade five. Uh, in grade five uh, was where I first uh, started uh, playing for college. Uh, I can remember I. Uh, I was uh, playing for Carter Blues, that was my house at uh, junior school. So we had this uh, inter-house cricket tournament at uh, the junior school uh, grounds. Um, I can remember I, I was the best batsman in the tournament and uh, that was, you know, basically how I started uh, playing cricket at college. It would be uh, actually my father because he was actually my inspiration, you know, to start up cricket. And uh, I can remember I joined uh, Mr. Harold Ranasing and Mr. Bernard Pereira's academy at uh, the Police Grounds in Kandy. That was my first taste of hardball cricket. Uh, that's how I basically started. My first cricket match was probably at at the academy, uh, Mr. Harold Ranasing and Mr. Bernard Pereira's academy. I can remember I was included in the squad uh, for the under 13 B team. So I can remember my first match was uh, at Police Grounds again. So against Sylvester's. And uh, that's how I actually started. Uh, and uh, under 13, uh, the next year in grade 7, I was promoted to the A team. And uh, then I managed to captain under 13 in my last year. So that was, my, that was how my junior cricket went. Um, like most of us, my role model was uh, Kumar Sangakara and uh, I can remember, you know, I used to watch, uh, even he came down to Asgiria to, you know, have a bat uh, some days and uh, I used to watch him. And uh, even Niroshan Bikal, I used to, you know, play a lot of, you know, watch them play first level matches and uh, not only him, uh, a lot of the guys, you know, that uh, played uh, in that era, when uh, Mr. Sampath Pereira took over, uh, you know, I was a small kid and uh, I can remember I used to watch most of the matches at Askiria when the first loan was playing. So, I always dreamt of uh, playing for college, you know, not for Sri Lanka under-19 or provincial or n not those. I, I just wanted to play for Trinity. I want to, I want to, I can remember I dreamt of uh, playing a big match for Trinity College, That's, that was my dream. My first coach here at Trinity was uh, Mr. Lasit Randunu. He was uh, my coach uh, in the under-13s and also under-15s. Mr. Sampath Pereira was my coach from under-17 onwards and uh, my last year when I played for college, uh, Mr. Kavindu Jaisuri took over. So they were three of my main coaches at Trinity College. My first ever first turn match was a one day match. Uh, it was uh, in 2013-14 year, uh, captained uh, by Ron Chandra Gupta. Uh, I managed to take a couple of wickets. I couldn't uh, score much, uh, but uh, I can remember I took a couple of wickets with my off -play. I was actually a batsman from, from my early days. I used to be a middle order batsman, but uh, I kind of Worked my way through to becoming a top order batsman, and then uh, in my last year, uh, I was opening the batting. So it was quite a journey from uh, batting in the middle order uh, to opening the batting. So that was basically. Uh, there were many matches, you know. Uh, I played for college. That were real good memories. Um, but I think the season that uh, stood out for me, you know, as a team. And as a player, it was uh, the under-17 first year. It was I, I can remember it was captained by uh, Shavindu Amar Singh. And um, I think we were runners-up in that tournament. And uh, that was basically, you know, the best, best of the seasons I played. I played for many, many years at Trinity College, the first level. But I think under-17, that first year was the turning point of my career. And, turning point of many of the players at Trinity. I was actually 
you know, in my junior days, or although I captained under 13 and under 15, I was, you know, not the greatest of players. I was in school grade, I was an average player, and uh, I can remember my uh, strike rate when I was uh, playing at junior level was around uh, 50, maybe 60. But this was a season where I learned to, you know, uh, play as a batsman. You know. Uh, my strike rate suddenly went up to 80 or 90 and I learned how to you know, fight and as a team uh, uh, it was actually, you know, um, I can remember I scored uh, 500, more than 500 runs and also uh, got more than 20 wickets and I was uh, judged as the best all round run up in that uh, tournament and we were runners up also so we, we won a lot of close games. So, I think uh, that was uh, very memorable because we won, uh, you know, uh, we won very, very close games and uh, that improved us as cricketers. And it was my uh, first year under Mr. Sampat Pereira and uh, I learned a lot about uh, sc uh, senior school level cricket uh, in that year. I think uh, that uh, season uh, paved the way for success of many of uh, the Trinitians who did well in the coming years. Captain by Shavid Amar uh, Vice Captain was Tasle Dudangal and uh, players like uh, Lahir Kumar, Dilan Jayalat, uh, Yasaran Pitavala, um, as well as Indresh Ari Singha, most of whom you all don't know but uh, they were, you know, as a team we all clicked together and uh, because of them only those standouts in the coming years like Lahiru, even Dilan and uh, they were you know groomed to stand out uh, in the coming years because of our teamwork in that season. That was you know a real a really good you know there was a really good atm atmosphere in that dressing room you know there were no junior, senior you know there were no players like that I mean we all worked together we had a great captain and uh, even the guys from first one came and supported us when we uh, played so everything was just perfect about that year and uh, yeah unfortunately we couldn't win uh, a game that we could have won easily against richmond after uh, they got all out for 160 and we managed to get only around 140 so that was in vain you know we could have won and easily became the champions but uh, all in all, it was a great season. I mean, it was very disappointing because we came a long way. You know, we, we were not the favourites. You know, starting starting the tournament, uh, we were we were not the favourites. And uh, uh, I can remember we we won a lot of cl cliffhangers. You know, I can remember uh, the semi-final against uh, Saint Joseph, where uh, they got all out for 140, but. Uh, we lost our first uh, seven or eight wickets for around 60, 70 runs. And uh, me, together with uh, uh, another player, we batted, you know, and uh, we got uh, Trinity across the line. And there were many games where we only scored around 150, but we managed to defend that total uh, because of our fighting spirit, our fielding. We were just, I think uh, it was one of the most you know, perfect teams that I played in. Uh, a lot of credit uh, should go to Mr. Sampath Pereira because, you know, he had uh, faith in me to, you know, give that uh, extra couple of games for me to perform. And uh, that was, you know, a real turning point. After after those couple of games, I, I came back to form and I can remember I scored uh, a couple of centuries and uh, played well in the big match and uh, was also the best batsman in that big match. Um, there were a lot, a lot of uh, memorable games you know, as a team. I can remember we, uh, we lost to uh, Royal outright in my uh, second year at uh, Trinity. At, uh, it was at uh, Royal Ground. So we were determined to come back and uh, give a good performance. And I can remember that uh, we scored an innings outright victory against uh, Royal at Tuskeria, so that was a very memorable match and uh, I can recall countless memories of where we lost the first inning 
and uh, went on to record an outright victory. So that was the team we had, you know, and uh, the coach we had. It was all just uh, great teamwork and uh, great leadership, uh, not only by the captain but also by the coach. I can remember we beat uh, St. Joseph's in Maradana after uh, 40 odd years, and uh, I remember beating Wesley after losing first innings. After losing the first innings, I can remember we beat Nalanda at, uh, at Nalanda, losing the first innings, and um, there were. Great matches, you know. Uh, uh, one match I can remember, uh, we beat uh, St. Anthony's in the, uh, one day, and uh, the match was over before lunch. Uh, they were, you know, I'm not quite sure of the exact score, but I can remember when uh, all the schoolboys in the crowd were coming, uh, we were packing our bags to go home. So that was a really memorable match. Uh, and uh, uh, every big match and one day against St. Anthony's that I played in was really memorable. Uh, I can remember back Paul de Calais in, uh, My first big match was in uh, 2015 uh, under Ravi Nisaya uh, at St. Anthony's. Unfortunately, the game got uh, washed out and uh, we beat uh, St. Anthony's in the one day. That was a really memorable, mem memorable match as well. After losing quick wicket, chasing uh, 240 odd, uh, it was Lahiru Kumar and uh, Ravin Se, I can remember, that uh, got us home. The big match in 2016, uh, played at, uh, at Palle Kale. We won the first innings and uh, we missed the outright victory by uh, a small margin and uh, that was the same year in 2016, the one day where we uh, we were home for lunch. And uh, in 2017, I can remember uh, in Palakale the hundredth uh, big match against St. Anthony's. Uh, that too was really memorable. I can remember I scored uh, 90 odd, and uh, I was uh, the man of the match and the best batsman in that uh, year. Speaking about the one day, that year we uh, we scored uh, 200 after we were maybe 100 for eight. Uh, it was uh, Thisaru Dushan, I can remember, scored, he scored uh, 40 odd and uh, I can remember we you know managed to defend that total 200 and uh, I was the man of the match and uh, best fielder there as well. So. Talking about the last year also, I scored uh, 70 uh, in the big match and uh, 100 uh, a century uh, in the one day. So they were all very memorable matches but I think uh, more than uh, the ups in my career, many of the uh, you know drawbacks and uh, downfalls in my career is what shaped me to become uh, a better cricketer and uh, I think the system at Trinity College was you know I was very lucky to be part of that system and uh, that was basically you know what guided me to become uh, the cricketer I am today. Great. There were many failures in my college career First failure was uh, in under 13 uh, when I was promoted to the under 13 A team in grade 7. I did not uh, perform very well, the team did not perform very well, but uh, Mr. Lasit Tandunu, the coach at that time, had faith in me to hand me over the captaincy in my last year. And uh, one of the most notable uh, failures came in the first 11 in 2016 uh, where I was coming back from injury. Uh, and that was really a very, very hard time and uh, there were a lot of people who supported me, uh, especially the coach and uh, my best friends at, uh, in the team. So they really supported me to get through those uh, hard times and uh, yeah, there were many uh, downs in my career but uh, uh, coming back from injury was you know, the hardest. 
because I I had uh, little experience to you know come back from that sort of an injury, being out for a couple of months. I did not have the uh, correct you know the, I didn't have the experience that was really new to me. So I learned a lot and uh, thank, thanks to the support and faith that uh, the coaching staff and uh, my best friends uh, in my team had in me was uh, what kept me going. My best moment was uh, probably when I represented uh, Sri Lanka under 19. Uh, you know, there were many great moments. The best moment would probably be in the World Cup where I scored uh, back to back centuries against uh, Kenya. That was uh, 191, a world record, and uh, 116 against the West Indies. So those were one of the highest uh, moments in my cricketing career. There are lots of uh, you know memorable moments, but uh, that uh, tops the list. Specific innings, you know, in the under 17 uh, first year, there were many memorable knocks. Uh, in the first eleven, I scored. Uh, I'm not quite sure of the correct number, but I scored uh, around 10 centuries. But I think uh, the best uh, knock was probably against Anand. That was in uh, 2000, the 2018, the last year. Uh, coming back after the World Cup, uh, we had a one-day, uh, sorry, uh, two-day match where I scored uh, 100 in 60 balls, and also we had a one-day match. I think that was a quarter-finals against Anand also at Tuskegee, and I managed to score yet another 100 uh, in 60 balls. So that was really, you know, memorable. I mean, it was not very easy, you know, uh, I can remember my parents, you know, they, they were, you know, uh, education was priority for them and uh, for me also, you know, and uh, I can remember I had to make a very hard decision when I was uh, in, uh, after the under-15 season, you know, to continue cricket or to, you know, play cricket for fun or to continue with the studies. So after a very hard decision because because you know my whole life was uh, about cricket. You know when I was little I was always fond of cricket and cricket has been everything to me. And I could not you know imagine uh, cricket you know uh, giving up on cricket. So I told everyone I told uh, my parents that uh, I I, ca I cannot uh, give up cricket and. Uh, you know, they backed me, they supported me with the decision and uh, that's, you know, there were many challenges like that, you know, ha having to make decisions uh, about what to do, you know, how to balance studies and cricket because I personally am a player who needs a lot of practice and uh, needs a lot of time at the nets, needs a lot of time, you know, doing uh, my physical fitness and I can remember my uh, I would be, most of the day I would be at uh, Askeria, you know, bunking school and uh, so that was, you know, but I never, you know, studies, I always did, you know, even when I was at the grounds the whole day, I would uh, go home and uh, do my studies, so it was not easy, but I think uh, I enjoyed balancing both and uh, that was, you know, very uh, helpful for me, you know, enjoying both cricket and studies, you know, helped me to balance it better and uh, not to forget, I got a lot of support from my friends, you know, I used to miss a hell of a lot of studies, uh, I was, you know, I was never in class at least, so I was always at the grounds, I was always playing matches, I was always playing cricket and uh, it was my friends, you know, who came up to me, you know, I didn't even have to ask them. Uh, they gave me all the notes, uh, they taught me, uh, I just, you know, I, I just only had to study, so that was, you know, a big plus point, you know, the friends I had were always very supportive, not to forget uh, my teachers, um, my teachers at school, I can remember, 
you know they used to sometimes uh, you know personally teach me i can remember you know before uh, doing my a levels uh, teachers came up to me and uh, you know asked me uh, you know what i wanted uh, what i wanted to be taught and uh, i can remember i came to school and they personally took their own time and taught me uh, marked my papers so uh, you know a lot of uh, credit there also must uh, go to uh, my teachers my uh, parents and also uh, my friends i can remember you know o levels of course was not that difficult but coming to a levels i i played a lot of cricket uh, i played for the under 19 uh, on weekdays i would be at colombo uh, and uh, practicing with the team most of the time so i never went for uh, classes at school and uh, i can remember my last tour was in april a uh, tour to australia so after that uh, what i did, did was you know take a good couple of days to plan uh, what was ahead and uh, but i was in touch with uh, my studies or right throughout the whole uh, two years and uh, it was easy you know after after my australia tour i can remember i uh, called my coach and uh, sri lanka cricket and told that uh, you know if it is possible to give me a three month break for my a levels to study and uh, get through a levels and i'll be and i'll be back so fortunately they give, gave me the chance uh, to stay at home and study for a good three months and uh, do my a levels and uh, you know uh, after studying for a couple of months i thought to myself you know this is you know because i kept in touch you know i was in touch all the way through this is not as hard as i thought you know i did the papers and i thought uh, this could be done so i had the confidence in me uh, i have never done a term, term test at school when i was doing a levels i never came to school i maybe uh, a couple of days a year maybe i was at school so all i was always playing cricket and uh, but i still had the confidence in me to do get through all the exams you know so with the support of everyone i think uh, there was a lot of confidence in me to do well was high behind redemption on the stairs on my gate i want to starting cricket you know uh, my coach uh, when i was under 13 uh he got everyone together and uh, asked what are your future ambitions you know where do you want to go with cricket and i can remember i asked uh, i told him i replied uh, my ultimate goal is to win the lion at trinity college for cricket so i was really uh, you know please i was really happy when i won it in 2017 Uh, I played for uh, Sri Lanka under 19 in that year and also scored uh, more than 900 runs in uh, you know missing out on around 5 matches so it was you know a really great and happy moment to accomplish uh, you know that being a dre- dream you know when I started as an under 13 player it was always my dream to win uh, the college lion and uh, I was really very happy to win it in 2017 talking about the right medal um i can remember uh, there was a, it was a nice memory it was in grade 9 where one of my teachers you know my class teacher you know she made a prediction i can remember that uh, there was one of my cousins who played rugby uh, for trinity it was in the same class as mine so she told uh, that uh, one of the boy brothers will uh, win the right medal in 2018 and uh, ultimately uh, i won it uh, in 2018 and uh, it was a really you know a great moment as well trinity was actually you know trinity made me the person i am today you know being a trinitian from grade 1 it has taught me a lot of things 
Um, there were lots of ups and downs in, when I was at school. You know, uh, the culture at Trinity shaped me. You know, to be the person I am today. Um, you know, at Trinity there was a thing where everyone had to do a sport, and uh, you know, those sort of things, little 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 things that uh, you know shape people to you know walk out as better people to the society. Uh, Trinity, you know, a lot of credit has to go to my school for producing brilliant individuals. Uh, we can see that uh, there were a lot of uh, great individuals that have been produced by the school and uh, it is actually, you know, uh, it is because of their culture that is in Trinity. I've been uh, in a uh, one A team tour for Sri Lanka and uh, seven, six or seven uh, emerging tours for Sri Lanka and uh, I'm currently playing for NCC and also uh, following a degree at uh, the University of Colombo in the management and uh, management uh, faculty. So talking about that, uh, you know, uh, NCC and also uh, my university, they all helped me with my studies, you know, to balance both. Uh, people that, uh, you know, uh, lecturers at uh, the university give me, uh, you know, allowances, you know, to play uh, cricket and uh, likewise uh, at NCC, um, the coaches and uh, the captain, all of them uh, support me in my studies as well. So that's a real, you know, that's a real plus point for me. You know, to balance both. Uh, it has always been, you know, uh, everyone has supported me to uh, follow both. So my plan for the future would probably be to continue both. And uh, there's no plan to give up on anything, you know, to balance both. And, uh, you know, let's see how it goes, you know. Being in the process is better than planning a lot ahead. So I think, uh, at present, I think I'm happy uh, with uh, what is going on and uh, I hope to balance both my cricket and studies and uh, achieve uh, you know, some of my goals uh, in both of those departments and uh, that's basically about my future. Um, Talking about the support from my family, uh, you know, they were the ones who taught me about the importance of education. You know, they never held back. I was really fussy as a cricketer. I wanted equipments, you know, uh, I wanted new equipments when I was a, uh, a little boy. Even I wanted the best of best of the cricket bats, and uh, they never failed to, you know, uh, they never held back and gave me anything I wanted and. Uh, they also supported me with my studies. Uh, they always came and supported me when I played uh, matches. I can remember I didn't uh, like my parents coming when I was a cricketer uh, playing at college. Uh, I didn't uh, like my parents coming and watching me play. Uh, because, you know, so I told them uh, uh, not to come, you know, and uh, let me play. So I can remember once uh, when I was in the middle, uh, both of my parents were watching, uh, you know, covering themselves from this bold. You know, I, I could see a couple of heads. So those are really uh, fun memories. And uh, I was like, uh, they supported me right throughout from my childhood. And uh, that was when I gave permission for them uh, to come uh, and watch me play. So talking about uh, the bombing incident, uh, it was. Uh, a scary, uh, you know, uh, couple of months. Um, it was really hard to get back to normal. I mean, uh, we were having breakfast and uh, suddenly there was this bombing and uh, it was a really scary moment. Uh, you know, words cannot really explain how scary it was. So, uh, managed, I have managed to get over it. Uh, it uh, took me a good couple of months and uh, uh, my f family supported me, you know, 
supported each other in getting over that incident and uh, yeah, they have been a great uh, support for me in both cricket and my studies life in general. If I would give uh, an advice to youngsters, it would probably be, you know, to never lose hope, you know. I was not uh, uh, a good cricketer when I was uh, when I was young. It was all because of my hard work and uh, dedication, you know. I never lost hope. I worked hard, count the, you know. I think working hard is probably everything, you know. Uh, you can only see people succeeding, but uh, you cannot see how uh, the work they put in, how hard they work. So always never lose hope, work hard and uh, if you be in the process, I think uh, you will achieve each and every goal in your life.